Hey everyone, Psychotronic Squirt Gun coming at you with another comic book haul. It's been a while since I've done this, but I've decided to just randomly pull from my collection, you know? I know some people poo-poo on those ideas, but I'm going to do this probably once a week, twice a week, and they're going to be shorter videos. So hope you enjoy this, and uh, without further ado... Without without further ado, let's get into it. We've got 1972, Adventures into Fear, number 12. I showed this on my, uh, on my show. It's called Chaotic Comic Book Cover Displays and More with Friends. And yeah. This is some Jim Starlin work here. I actually read this one. And it's your typical comic about, well, you know, about racism. But this, this is done right. This is done back in the day. It shows the me mentality and the um, motivations of the characters. So it's, it's written very well. Yeah, sure, it's got that little rip up there. But what are you going to do, right? This one is 1970. Aquaman, number 50. Not a huge DC guy, but slowly, more and more, loving it. Um, this is a Jim Aparo issue. Can't wait to dive in. I, I picked all, I picked this one up um, from, uh, was it? Uh, yeah, Craigslist um, pickup, and I uh, got a whole long box. It wasn't full like it was supposed to be, you know? But, uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Aquaman. I look forward to reading that one. 1986. Indies from the 80s. From Aerosol Comics, we got Icarus. Flagship of the Interstellar Rescue Foundation. I think that's a number one. I love my indies from the 80s. I know there's some of my YT friends, actually, a few of you guys grew up on this stuff. And I really appreciate that. I love my black and white. And it even gives you a nice brief uh, history here. Isn't that cool? So awesome. Icarus. This one's 1970. Challengers of the Unknown, 72. Neil Adams cover. It's my first Challengers of the Unknown that I've ever read. And I really enjoyed it. It's about this uh, evil alchemist, or this really self-centered alchemist who wants to uh you know find the uh the potion of the eternal youth right and um of course his experiments go away awry rather and uh, a cat ends up lapping it up and scratching somebody and creating you know weird zombies and stuff but you gotta love this art man Holy cow. So I'm very happy I read that one. And here we have 1986 from Now Comics, another indies from the 80s, Prime Slime Tales. <laughs> I just love this weird, you know, offbeat stuff. Almost, you know, I love that. Valor, Thunderstar, and his Fireflies. Pretty cool. But yeah, dude, give me some uh, black and white stuff, you know. Freaking love it. Yeah, dude. This, is, this stuff, Indies from the 80s, man. You guys could totally find them, and they're just so... Fun to read. They're so quirky. The art's normally good. They're black and white because that's what they could afford to do back in the day, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. 
It wasn't an aesthetic choice in most cases. 1986, a reprint from 2000 AD. We have uh, Rogue Trooper, number three. Um, as you guys know, I've been reading the original Judge Dredd. Um, haven't jumped into Rogue uh, Trooper yet. Pretty much looking forward to it. You gotta love the... Uh, what is that? Strantium Dog? <laughs> Something like that. Strantium Dog Special. Isn't that great? I love I love how the colors pop on the indies from the 80s, you know? Just so freaking cool. I love the uh the reprints from the UK. You can tell they're more magazine sized. Uh, the panels don't fit the paper perfectly, you know. And it's just just fun stuff, you know. So yeah, Rogue Troopers number three. And speaking of Judge Dredd, nineteen eighty four. Judge Dredd number ten. Introducing Judge Fish. <laughs> so um i read this one a while ago and what i remember is that this megalomaniac judge you know once judge dread got back from uh saving mega city one and two from um this apocalyptic um Dude, sometimes my brain just goes, and everything's gone. <laughs> How do you like that? So, yeah. This is the megalomaniac right here. Um, it, Judge Dredd saved everyone from a, a, a pandemic. The megalomaniac pretended this fish had sentience and that this fish was a, was a, um, was a judge that was informing the megalomaniac. <laughs> Cool. And the last one we'll do today is 1970 Thor 177. Like I said, these comics are all just random. But um, yeah, I love it. I love it's like pulling seven from heaven. I might call it that, you guys. Seven from heaven. Although I might not keep with the number seven, you know. Um, but you gotta love the Jack Kirby goodness. You know, there's no, you can't complain when you, you own some Jack Kirby, especially his Thor was really good. And a lot, so much of his stuff was good, of course. But yeah, you guys, so that's it. Thank you for watching the video. Please check out my uh, playlists for other um, comic book hauls. Um, please check out uh, Mondays for the uh, chaotic comic book claims and also uh, my show on thursday chaotic comic book cover displays and more with friends where i have a group of people and we're talking about the comics opening up comics having fun with comics okay that's it thank you so much and see you on the next one